Hey guys, what's going on? It's Lefty from 643 Productions coming at you here with a live Modern Warfare 3 free-for-all gameplay commentary uh, here on... Ooh, what is this map? I don't know. Uh, using the ACR because I just unlocked it and I want to see if it's reminiscent of Modern Warfare 2. Uh, if it's uh, just as beastly slash uh, god gunny or if it's uh if it's a uh, if it's toned down i don't uh, i honestly don't know i joined this uh this free for all game a little late uh and by late i mean bad shooting uh no i mean um just after it started so uh so i'm not uh, having to fight for my life claw my way back to the top i am uh just as uh, almost just as i had started the game off a little later than most but i want to talk with you guys while i'm uh, while i'm running here uh, some non-lethal kill streaks or uh, support class and and let me uh, mute these guys so they are not showing up in my live commentary jackholes god <laughs> how do you not know i'm recording a live commentary and that i have my uh, voice volume as play through speakers so that uh your voice shows up on my commentary jerks god <laughs> but anyway i want to talk with you guys about uh, about broken promises because uh in playing modern warfare 3 and uh, and i want to everybody to know this this is not my uh, my definitive deciding video on modern warfare 3 on whether the game sucks or whether i think the game sucks uh, or anything like that this is not that at all i still do want to hold off on that video uh or series of videos for a while because i think there's a lot to talk about uh and uh, and covering it in a single video as well as uh you know only a few days after release is probably not the best idea what is this behemoth in my hands that's what she said uh <laughs> Hey, oh, I love being immature. But anyway, I want to talk with you guys about broken promises because uh, with Modern Warfare 3, we were made up. Oh, see, there it is. In uh, oh no 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 no, did not mean to. Uh, we were made uh, by Infinity Ward and, and by uh, Robert Bowling 402 and by Sledgehammer Games. We were made a few promises. Uh, drop shotting for the win. We were made some promises about about what to expect from Modern Warfare 3, and there are two right now that that come right to mind. Uh, and that is number one, the uh, the knifing mechanic. Robert Bowling 402, when asked about the knifing mechanic in Modern Warfare 3 pre-release, uh, hinted at a at a completely new and dynamic knifing system, uh, where where one shot kill knives would only be from uh, behind on an unaware enemy, and uh, and the rest would have to be two hit kills from the front. But that was gone completely. That was shunned, as we've seen, for release. Now, uh, who anybody's you know, guess is as good as anybody else's as to why that was done. My guessing is because uh, the guys at Sledgehammer didn't have enough time uh, uh, with the game and weren't familiar enough with the coding to make the significant changes that were needed. Maybe they just weren't good enough, too. Uh, but regardless, that was gone. That promise. And, and the knifing mechanic was something... Uh, how has this guy not been kicked yet? Is it because he's the host? Uh, but the knifing mechanic has been the bane of the existence of the Call of Duty community, or at least the hardcore players, for a long time. And nothing has really been done about it. Uh, and here, Robert Bowling, under the pretenses of, of making a, a great Call of Duty game and, uh, and being the savior of the, of the franchise or of the series, he made this promise and then it just went away. It just went away. Now, I, I talk with you guys about these things, and I realize I should have said this earlier, because I, I don't want to decry Modern Warfare 3. In fact, that's not at all what I'm doing. The, these things have really not much to do with the game, uh, because taking taking in a vacuum, the knifing mechanic really isn't that big of a deal. I mean, really? Okay. You know, it's not completely broken, and it's not game-changing or game-breaking, and none of the things that I'm talking about are. So this doesn't really have to do with the call or with the... Uh, the overall worthiness or worth of the game it doesn't have to do with that but what it does have to do with is something that i think speaks is speaking to a larger point about the community and i think everybody would be well served to be aware of it and make note of it and um and, and that's just my idea with the broken promises especially when we're when we are told uh, by the creative strategist of the series that this is going to be changed or that this is gone because he's one of us and he knows and he's like oh man yeah i hated that too and i'm sorry and we're gonna fix it but then it's not fixed and knifing was one of those things knifing was huge everybody's like oh man i can't wait now this is going to be amazing the new knifing mechanics it's going to be it's going to be different and and i can't wait and i just got killed by that predator missile and then it just went away just no, never mind. Fuck it. 
Screw it. Forget it. Not doing it. Next up was, and, and we saw it earlier in this, uh, in this match, and I made note of it, is final and last stand. Robert Bowling said specifically, specifically in many, many interviews, that those mechanics would be gone. Final stand and last stand would not make an appearance in Modern Warfare 3. But lo and behold, what do we find out to be one of the de death streaks when people get their hands widespread on the game? Final stand. Now, it's obvious that this was implemented to be, to be something for the, for the lesser skilled players, but still, my point remains, we have been promised these things by Robert Bowling. Now, in, an, in a vacuum, none of them really mean anything in terms of the game. Yeah, they suck sometimes, but still, when a developer promises us, customers, something, I think it is well served for, for everybody to call on the developer until those things are implemented. It is, it is unacceptable uh, to, for, for a developer of, of any type to, to garner interest in a game under fal false pretenses by making promises that they have no intention or ability to keep. And I think we should all be very, very upset, not because Modern Warfare 3 sucks, that's not what I'm saying, but because we were promised something by Robert Bowling and Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer Games and Activision, and they didn't deliver. And by my look, they didn't even try. They didn't even try. And I think that is indicative of a problem in the community, and I think we should all be upset and voice our displeasure with the powers that be. But that's just my thought. Again, I'm not trying to say the game sucks. I'm not at all trying to say the game sucks. Okay, keep that in mind, because I know a lot of people are thinking it. Not at all trying to say the game sucks, but I think just keep that in mind. I think it bears repeating uh, to everybody. I think everybody would be well served to keep that in mind. But anyway, guys, that's my time. I got to get out of here. Thank you for joining. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to drop a like on this video if you enjoyed. I am out.